How's it going star seekers? I hope you're all doing good and welcome back to the channel where today I'm bringing you a short review for a game called Writhe. It's an arcade style first person shooter which sees you taking on endless hordes of flesh eating worms as you try to survive for as long as possible in one of three arenas. Wielding your plasma rifle and shotgun akimbo style, Writhe will test your wits and reaction speeds as you exterminate as many worms as you can, competing for the top spot on the world leaderboards. So let's jump into this review and take a look at what's on offer. So Writhe takes place in an alternate 70s Thailand, where an incident at a major juicing factory created to turn genetically modified sago worms into refreshing beverages has resulted in thousands of worms escaping into the surrounding jungle. Following the incident, the worms mutated and multiplied to the point where they posed a major threat to humanity, and so it's up to you, a highly trained exterminator, to don your armour, lock and load, and head out into the wilderness to hunt down as many of the disgusting grubs as you can. Now gameplay in Rive takes place in one of three maps, or shall we say arenas located around ground zero of the outbreak. Your objective is simple, survive for as long as possible as endless waves of worms spawn into the arena, wriggling the way swiftly towards you, all looking for a quick meal. Now to aid your survival efforts, you're armed with both a plasma rifle and a shotgun, which you get to dual wield, an armour which can absorb up to 5 hits, indicated by green lights at the bottom of the screen. If all the lights go out, your worm food and the run is over. Worms themselves spawn from multiple points around the arena, and while things start off at quite a leisurely pace, the action quickly ramps up as the frequency of worms spawning increases and you begin to encounter them at every turn. Now arenas in Rye are designed in such a way that you'll be hard pressed to find a spot to simply hide out in and camp your way to a high score. Invisible walls block access to any high ground and there are very few locations with single entry points and so your only option is to run and gun. But knowing when to run and when to gun is key to surviving for longer than 30 seconds in Rye. In addition to the standard worms which look like fat versions of the chestburster from Alien, there are also two other mutated versions which pose even more of a threat. You have the radioactive green variants which will explode when shot or if they get too close to you, and you have the faster and more durable bull variants who charge towards you and eat up your bullets like candy. Now unlike radioactive fuse worms which spawn from wall sphincters like standard worms, bull worms are actually created when a standard worm first transforms into a cocoon, which if left undisturbed will then hatch into a bull worm, so one of your main priorities is destroying these cocoons as soon as you see them. Not only will doing this stop the transformation from happening, but it'll also reward you with a green pickup which restores one of your health points. So as I mentioned the game currently contains three arenas in total, you have the claustrophobic rundown map with its tight corridors and walkways, the jungle which is the largest of the three maps and features temple structures, rocky outcrops and plenty of foliage to camouflage incoming worms, and lastly the factory which is full of ramps, forklift trucks and shipping containers. Each of these arenas requires slightly different strategies to stay alive and learning where spawn points are should be your first priority as well as finding good routes through them and learning where the choke points are. It's all too easy in the heat of the moment to back yourself up into a corner so having good situational awareness and knowing where you are in the arenas goes a long way to keeping you alive. Now when it comes to my own personal experience with the game, I will say first and foremost it was a positive one. I liked the fast paced action of the game which requires you to be on your guard and aware of your surroundings at all times, but Rithe is not an easy game and it's very easy to get overwhelmed by worms or have them creep up on you, so playing the game with headphones on really helps as you can often hear them when they spawn behind you. When it comes to the game's replayability, while there are only three arenas which does somewhat limit the game's longevity, each arena has its own separate online leaderboard where you can compete for the best survival time against the rest of the world. As you kill enemies you also earn gems which unlocks lore articles giving you the backstory of the game, and the game does mention using these gems to upgrade guns, though I couldn't work out how you do this so perhaps this will be implemented in a future update. 
Lastly, there's also a museum in the game which you can go ahead and explore, and this contains additional snippets of lore and display cases housing 3D models of the game's enemies and items. When it comes to the game's visuals, Rithe has a sort of 64-bit look going on, and while I didn't notice any slowdown, the game also has an option to switch between quality and performance, which I thought was a nice addition. You can also enhance the retro visuals even further with a pretty awesome retro filler, giving the game more of a classic Doom look, and there's also a 4 CRT filler which gives the game a bunch of scan lines, although I just found this made things a little too blurry for my liking. Audio wise, while the sound effects are decent and consist of your standard gunshots, explosions, screeches and squelches, the game's soundtrack features some pretty awesome high tempo industrial music which really helps set the tone for the game and gets you into the mood for some worm blasting. So now we come to rating the game. Now I rate games out of 5 stars, and this is based on my own personal opinion on the quality and quantity of a title's gameplay, and whether I think it offers value for money to potential buyers. For a rating, I'm going to be giving Rithe 3 out of 5 stars. On the whole, Rithe is an enjoyable arcade shooter, with simple yet challenging gameplay mechanics and online leaderboards adding competitive drive to its addictive one more try formula. I do however think that people may find Rise to be a little light on content for the price, so hopefully there'll be future updates for the game adding new gameplay elements and extra maps for people to get stuck into. Rive releases on the 15th of January and it's exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. You can pick the game up from the UK Switch eShop where it's usually priced at £7.99 or from the US eShop where it's usually priced at $9.99. And that just about wraps up this review of Rive. so if you enjoyed it and it helped you out, make sure to hit that like button, and while you're at it, consider subscribing to the channel, as I upload new Nintendo Switch reviews every few days. For now though, I just want to thank you all once again for watching, and until next time, take care, and game on.